What's up, game burners? Today I'll be talking about how to get the game server G8 to work with almost any mobile game without the use of a key mapper, without the use of debugging root wireless debugging. You can just connect your G8 and just play. So game runners, let's go. I've watched all the game Sir G8 reviews on YouTube and all the look on and all those little gameplays that they are doing. But none of them showed me what I wanted to see. What I wanted to see is that they use the game sir G8 and play any of my favorite games including the Arena Breakout, R6 Mobile, Call of Duty Warzone Mobile and Call of Duty Mobile. So all those reviews you see on YouTube about the G8 those videos are garbage they don't really make sense all they show you is just what you already know about the control they haven't gotten into the real detail the real reason why people buy the game sir g8 we buy the game sir g8 because we want to play our favorite games without having to struggle to use a rooted device a key mapper panda gamepad pro game so world app even the game server company what they are trying to do is to get you to use only the game server app with the controller with game search too i figured out how to play key mapless meaning no up no root no debugging just simple plug and play so all right settings controller settings so what I have managed to do is to get the game sir G8 lined up with the keys of the arena breaker. So what I've done is map the arena breaker to the game sir G8. G8. Example: If you press X for reload. You notice the X is touching the screen. If I use R2, you see the R2 input on the screen on the fire icon. Jump, bend down. Alright, one thing I don't like about the GA when the phone is not in the controller, it's easy to press the L1 but as I continue to play I realize the L1 is a little bit too close so what I started doing I started to use the L started to use the L2 for fire why well, you see this red light here that means I have the turbo on so I would hold the M, press the L1 once to remove the turbo so it's back to normal speed. So when I move the left analog, you see the input on the screen.
Đấy. So game bonus, I don't have any key map open. I'm just simply plugging in and playing. This blue light is the G touch light. But we are not using the G touch. We're not using any key mapper. I'm not using the panda, I am not using the game sir. But this trick it involves the game server app. When the controller comes new, where most of the keys show the input on the screen, just because the controller is new, it, it, it's not showing those input on the screen. So I have a trick to get back the inputs for the L2, for the R2 and the R1. Once you have bought these two and you have fixed this, the right analog, you notice I get the right analog on this side. So I can turn the character. So I figured out how to get these to, to show their input on this side of the phone. So that's the only way I'm getting to play whichever game, key map less. with the blue light all right game burners enough talk let's enter the training let's go Okay, game burners. Now that we are in the training, quick look back at the keys. The key mapless mode that I am using, and the game search to which shows a green light. But on the G8, key mapless mode is in the blue light, which they call the G map mode. The G map mode is when you are using the game server app with it, with the game and the controller, just like the Panda Gamepad Pro. But I have, but I have figured out how to get the key map less to work with G8, just as the X2. So let's test the keys. Alright, so we have the L2 for aim. The, cell, the right analog sensitivity is low. So, what we do with going to sensitivity, it says overall sensitivity. Maybe we can put it at 150. Test it, still slow. Two hundred says camera sensitivity without aiming down sight, so we'll turn this up to a hundred one fifty one fifty. Not bad, right? Let's go. So I'm not using any key mapper, so the, the game character will move a little bit fast, bend down, aim, very nice, so game burners, 
all those other videos you are watching on YouTube about the uh, game Sir G8, they are not very helpful. They do not show you how to get the game Sir G8. The sensitivity, the aim down sight, scope one, needs to turn down to about eighty. Iron sight, bring it down to fifteen. Sensitivity. So you see game runners. Why am I why why I'm using the the arena breakout sensitivity settings to adjust the controller that really means that really means I am not using a key map I have transferred over my key map less trick from the game sir 2 to the game sir G8 so game burners in order to These triggers right here, the L2 and the R2, they are very sensitive. They call them air triggers. So by gently pushing the right trigger, it presses or it fires the weapon. You understand, Gamer? So it's working very nice. No key mapper, just as the game Serex 2. So if you want to learn how to go key mapless with the game Sir G8, you have to join my fan club. If you are not a member of the fan club, you cannot ask me how to show you this trick. You have to be a member of the fan club. You will only get gameplays on the channel. But all the secrets to the game, sir, G8 will be in the fan club. So that's it, game burners. Thanks for watching.